What is up you guys? Ashley Elizabeth here with AEHM Artistry and today is my first part of, of course, a palette series and that is the ColourPop Disney Collection collaboration that just launched earlier this week at the time of filming this and I am super stoked on it. It is so beautiful. If you are new to my series, if you're new to my channel, then when I pick up eyeshadow palettes, I go a little ham on reviewing them for you guys. Like I do multiple episodes that kind of create like a series covering the logistics of one palette. I know it sounds redundant, I know it sounds a little bit eh, but if you're a shopper like me, I research, research, research when I'm buying something for myself or like as a gift, so I like to see as many reviews as possible, so that's what I do here. So first off for this episode today, we are gonna start with eye swatches, both using my finger and a brush right on the eye, that way you can see how the color payoff performs, not on a primed eye, nothing, just blankety blank blank, and you can see how that goes and then I also will tell you the specifications pricing and all that as well and then if you want to subscribe the next episode I will be doing a first impressions tutorial kind of seeing how it is playing with it doing like a real look seeing if I need primer or not primer whatever and then I will do arm swatches too and I have some other products too to play with and create a little first impressions look and then if all is going well then I usually do an updated tutorial after a week or two where I you know tell you how I really feel about everything give you a look so if that sounds all good and dandy to you then you know what to do sit back hang tight and keep on watching Alright you guys, first of all, if I sound a little weird, sorry, I'm still getting over a cold and I probably shouldn't be filming today, but I got this box yesterday and I was just like, <sighs> I wanted to play with it right away, but obviously I couldn't because I needed to take pictures and review it and everything like that, so I hold it out for you guys. Wish me luck, hopefully I get over this cold really quickly. But uh, yeah, so ColourPop and Disney collaborated and it is the designer Disney collection. So, so pretty. I was actually in my hotel bed in Hawaii when I saw this come out and I just like couldn't sleep at night after that. I was researching it already, like price points, when the launch date is, everything like that. As soon as it became available, I was on that site at 10 a.m. In case you didn't know, they actually were selling the PR boxes as well, which I think is really cool when companies do that. Now, ColourPop, I noticed, when you do some of their value kits or PR boxes, the price isn't that much better. So for me, I didn't pick it up. However, the box itself was gorgeous. I'll show you a picture right here what the PR box looks like. I know that that sold out really, really quickly. If they've announced when they're going to be restocking that, I will definitely post that here or down in the comments below when I find out if it's gonna be restocked because I know that's what a lot of people are waiting for. However, a lot of the stuff is still in stock, including this palette at the time of filming this, and then some of the lipsticks are sold out, some are available, some Super Shocks are available, blah, blah, blah. It's about half and half. I ordered mine from ColourPop's website. Now, that was my very first ColourPop order, like very, very, very first. I have never, ever tried anything from ColourPop before. What took me so long? I don't know. I've had a lot of friends tell me that I need to order it, and I just never got around to it. And when I saw this, I was like, oh, girl's getting around to it. Girl is trying it out, and I think that's a pretty good, pretty good addition to start out with, if I do say so myself. So, this palette retails for $20. I want to show you guys the size of this. It's about the size of my hand. It does look really big in pictures, but in person, it's not. doesn't come with a mirror, and I'm pretty sure ColourPop cosmetics I'm pretty sure none of their palettes do and that's probably to keep costs down I mean $20 for a licensed like designer style palette is really good so um, size wise the pans yeah it's a little bit bigger than the tip of my finger mm, almost a quarter almost a quarter size I'll compare it with their super shock so there is a super shock shadow compared to the pans so you can see the super shock shadow is about a typical round pan size so these ones are a tad bit smaller but no big deal personally for me but just want to let you know that information this is what the palette comes in I'm gonna definitely keep this outer sleeve because I think it is so pretty it has the names of that and luckily it also has the names of the colors right on the pans too so or right below the pans so that's awesome it is a cardboard packaging so it's not super high quality packaging but it is sturdy enough it doesn't feel like it's gonna break everything feels really nice sleek and it still has has that metallic overlay on there as you can see with the light shifting. I'm loving the packaging. I think it is so so freaking cute. Now I did also pick up two of the Super Shock shades. This shade right here was not available in the PR box. That was another reason why I didn't go with that. So I got the shade Under the Sea. So I will be swatching that today to show you. And then I also got that purpley shade called A Whole New World. Now A Whole New World honestly I was very iffy. That's something that I was going like back and forth and back and forth on because 
It seemed like it wasn't swatching on ColourPop swatches very vibrant, very interesting, but I went with it anyways because I just feel like I don't have anything in my collection that looks like that. And I really wanted to try the Super Shock, and let's be real, honestly, it's because of the little Disney castle on it. I know, I know, I'm such a sucker. That is the whole reason why I bought this. I don't need these colors. I don't need them. It's just the packaging. It's just the princesses. It's because I love it. Oh my goodness, you guys. I am such a sucker. It's okay. It happens. With that being said, the Super Shock Shadows only retail for $5 a piece. This is how the Super Shock Shadows comes. Here is A Whole New World, and here is Under the Sea. And then I also picked up just one of the lipsticks for now. We will see how that goes. Again, never tried the lipsticks from ColourPop before, so we'll see how it is. And I picked up the Ariel one because, number one, hello Ariel. But I thought that would be a nice nude shade for me. It kind of has a corally undertone to it. And then these retail for $7 each. So I don't think that's a bad price for a lipstick at all. I think that everything is looking good so far. I have not swatched anything yet though, so I'm about ready to do that. So if you want to see that, let's do that, okay? Yeah. Can I first, can I please swatch this for you though, because I'm not going to do, I already have my lips done today, so I'm not going to do my lips today, but, so she's a little more orangey than I was expecting. Everything turns orange on me though, and I'm just remembering that I just told you guys that, everything turns orange on me, and then I bought a lipstick with orange undertone, but, so it's going to be very orange. That's okay. I'll still make a look with it, for sure. There is one quick swipe of lipstick. Obviously, it'll look very different on my arms than on my lips, but just so you can see that. And it has all the princess's signatures on it. Like, how adorable. Oh, my goodness. And this is the box that it comes in. I will be hoarding all the boxes of these products, for sure, because how could you not? It's so, so cute. Oh my goodness. All right, we're gonna get to eye swatching right now, but before I do, please take a moment to comment down below who your favorite Disney princess is. Now, if you're gonna ask me who my favorite princess is, honestly, it's hard. I mean, it's kind of like what era in life are we talking here because I didn't grow up with this princess that is my favorite now and it is Princess Tiana. That girl has gumption, she has drive, she has class and I freaking love her. That movie has a special place in my heart. The first time I watched Princess and the Frog I was on my way to Florida with my best friends for a little trip and ever since I just have I love that movie and I love that princess and I love what she stands for. She's awesome. Growing up my favorite princess was probably Belle. Yeah definitely Belle and of course Little Mermaid. I, you know, I'm not my, don't tell my, don't tell my daughter because she loves her, but my favorite is not Snow White. She's not my favorite, but you know, that's between you and me until she watches this later on in life. <laughs> okay, without further ado, let's go ahead and get to ice watching. That was the first silver shade. Very similar, FYI. Very similar. Oh 
However, the brush swatches are a little bit different. The first one's a better brow bone shade, and that one's like pigment. Okay, so I'm gonna swatch the Super Shock Shadows for you guys on my eyes too, but before I do, I wanna go over this palette really quickly. Based off a of first impression squatches, based off a of first impression swatches, holy crap, you guys, this is the palette you didn't know you needed. First of all, I forgot to say first impressions taken out of the box. I was like, wow, that's a really good nudie type of palette that is good and basic, but then it has like a lot of pops of shimmer and fun to play with. Top row are all mattes and um, they looked really good. They performed with swatches and quick brush swatches on an unprimed eye. Amazing. I'm actually very surprised. Like I said, I've never tried anything from ColourPop before and oh my gosh, why did I wait so long? These were all beautiful. I actually don't have any complaints about any of them, except that these two silvers, as you saw in the video, swatched with a finger very similar. However, when you use a brush, they are very different. The Prince, Tar the Prince Charmin, the Prince Charmin, it's, it's a toilet paper guy. The Prince Charming, ugh, the Prince Charming, it's, you know, that shade. That shade is uh, better for a brow bone inner corner highlight, not as intense as the thingamabob. That one is more intense. Um, and then, the deeper matte shades, oh my gosh, a little bit goes a long way with all of these, but that Midnight Curfew blends amazing for a black too to blend amazing. That's awesome. A boo is amazing. You guys, I'm excited. A couple of them, I didn't know which brush to use because they kind of have some glitter in it, so I did both. That's why you saw both, but you guys, what do you think of those eye swatches? Holy crap. I'm so excited. That is going to be like my go-to nudie palette for the rest of the year. I predict. I predict. Okay, so going to the Super Shock shades. I'm new to the Super Shock, but I'm pretty sure it says you use these with a finger. I haven't seen anybody use them with a brush, but I haven't seen, I haven't looked up that much. And I'm pretty sure on the website I looked it up and it said finger. So I'm just going to do finger swatches of these. Maybe I'll do a little brush. I don't know. Let's see what I did. Let's just do it. Okay. All right, starting with under the sea. I'm scared to like touch these because they're so pretty right now, but I'm gonna do it for you. I'm gonna, I'm totally gonna do the side. <gasps> they're so creamy. Oh my gosh. They feel like the Physicians Formula Butter Highlighters. Whoa. I'm just gently patting it. Oh my goodness. Let's see how pretty that is. Oh, it's so pretty. <sighs> wow. Wow, let's do, let's do a brush. I'm pretty sure, like I said, it didn't say to do a brush, but I'm gonna do a brush because I'm breaking the law, breaking the law. Burr, burr. Just try it. Oh, you can do that. Yeah, that's fine. All right, let's go ahead and do a whole new world. Whole new world, new fantastic point of view. It's crazy. I just, I've never experienced, well, I have experienced the Physician's Formula Highlighter, but Let's see. Oh, she's pretty. Yeah, she is more of a wash of purple, but let's see if you can build it up a little bit. Yeah, it looks like you can build it up. Let's do a third. The little silver sparkles in there are really pretty. Hopefully it's coming across on camera, but in person, she packs more punch. Go ahead and try it with a brush. I have a feeling it might not work out as well, but... Oh, it's okay. No, it's more of a wash. Yeah, I don't like that one with a brush as much. In general, in general, I think the finger worked better, but that's what I think that they instruct. I'm sure you guys are down in the comments going like, girl, you can do whatever you want. And I'm like, yeah, that's true. Thank you. Um, because makeup has no rules except, uh, 
sanitize, don't use anything old and gross and yucky, and uh, don't put anything in your actual eyeball. <laughs> Alright my love bugs, thank you so much for watching today's episode in this at least three part series for the ColourPop Disney collection, collaboration, whatever you want to say. If you are new to my channel and you enjoyed this and you want to see more, not only from this series but other things, I'm going to be having a whole month of Halloween inspired looks and funness followed by Thanksgiving and Christmas. Ooh! So while you're here, go down and hit that little subscribe button and join our little fam bam that we have going on here. Feel free to comment down below especially tell me what your favorite Disney princess is and why. I would love to have a chat about that. Woo-woo! Disney! Yeah! Makeup! Yeah! Everything! Woo! Thank you all so much for watching. I hope every single one of you have a beautiful, awesome, wonderful, and magical day.